Well, welcome back. This is Zelda, and today I have with us a stylist from Salon Teak on 210, Jeanette Morelli. And I want to welcome her today. She services the Nocatee community, and she is great at colors, cuts, and she's going to talk to us today about latest styles and what's what's what in the world of hairstyling. So welcome, Jeanette. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So tell me, what? let's just start right off and tell me what's the most important thing when you're out there and you're looking for a new stylist, what should we be looking for? Well, I think one of the most important things is you want to try to find somebody that will give you a good consultation. Um, consultation is key because that's where you kind of get to see the person's personality, see if that's a good fit for you, but also you get to see you know what they offer as far as like as far as their education as far as their continuing education which is very 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 important for the stylist yes for the stylist yes. so okay. it gives you time to kind of get to know each other and just see if that's a good fit for you well i like how when you meet with a stylist for the first time and they want to know more or less what you do so that they know if you have an active lifestyle um, or not so do you have time to work with your hair do you not so absolutely that's key because you want to find somebody that's going to be realistic i mean we can all kind of give you whatever you want, but as far as, you know, in terms of, you know, how much time do you really want to spend on your hair? Um, what is your hair texture? What is your, you know, optimum time frame as far as return visits? You know, not a lot of people want high maintenance hair, but they see something that they think they want, and then when you start kind of delving in a little bit more, you realize, like, maybe that's kind of a little bit more commitment. So when you consult with them, do you tell them, well, uh, that's going to be high maintenance or that's going to need a lot of yeah. product in your hair or yeah generally you know you can say like i can give you that but it's going to probably require more product than you're used to using or you know things like that so they want to consider that yes so why do stylists speaking of products they always ask you what products do you use in your hair now what are they getting at what why, why do they want to know that i know um, generally when I ask that question, <clears throat> it is because I want to make sure that you're using the right thing based on what we've already discussed during our consultation. So if you're using a product that might be too heavy for your hair and you want volume, that's how I find out. And I can give you suggestions. I always give a array of suggestions for people, different price points, things like that. Um, so that's generally why we ask that question. So some products will give you volume, others will give you what? Others will give you more moisture, others will give you more of a smoothing, um, they're, they're, they're just so many things. Okay. And you can cocktail things together as well, and a lot of people don't realize that they can use a little of this and a little of that and get the perfect combination. Wow, okay, so that's why you need the, that yeah. consultation so they can tell you that. Yeah. So I know a lot of times, um, myself included, uh, we bring pretty little pictures from the beautiful magazines of the celebrities and their hairstyles. So do you like that and how do you use that in your consultation? I love that personally because I feel that that gives, um, you can't go wrong with the picture. So a lot of times people pick up terminology that we use and they're not using it correctly. So if I base off um, what you're telling me, sometimes what you're telling me, you think you're telling me what you want, but it's really the exact opposite of what you want. You just heard a lingo, like salon lingo. So when I see a picture, I can say, oh, no, 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 that's not ashy or that's not grassy. And I can differentiate. And it just clears up any miscommunication that there could possibly be. Okay. So when you're bringing a picture and it's this particular cut, like I know I bring you cuts and say, hey, but you know, I, I don't have the long, thin face. So do you, do you consult with them about the fact that, hey, I don't look like Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there, I, I think too, mainly is like the texture of the person's hair and their density is the first thing I look for. Because a lot of times people that have really thick hair, they'll bring you pictures of people with really fine hair. And then... Want you, that. You're you not going to get that. You can get that, but it's going to be a lot of me. Okay. So, so, it's realistic. So. so so photos are really important when you're yeah. going to your stylist. And, and like you said about face shape and all that, you know, as far as styling. If you're a person that's like, yeah, I really don't want to spend 20 minutes on my hair every morning. Sometimes you can look at a, a photo and say, that's probably going to be a little more maintenance, but what about if we were to do this? So it gives you a good starting point to jump off of. So that's great. So what is in style right now? I, I know there's different trends all the time. I see kids with... Uh, I shouldn't say kids, but people with different hair colors, yes. pinks and purples and yes. orange and whatever. And 
I don't know if that's still in style, yes. out of style, and what else is in style? I know this sounds crazy, but kind of everything right now is in style. So it just depends on, you know, your lifestyle. Um, it depends on... So basically right now, everything is in style. For me, I tell people to try to work with your hair texture. Um, and kind of that's a good jump off point as far as It sounds like out. texture's the thing. Like yeah. Thick hair, thin hair, and starting from there. Because you don't want people to go home and then struggle on a daily basis to style their hair to where it looks nice. True. So True. you want it to be where they're happy with their hair and they love their hair, but it's also easy for them to deal with on a daily basis. True, true. So what, I know every stylist, sometimes stylists like to, um, they're, they like to work with color most. Some want to do cuts, some are specializing in long hair or yeah. short hair. What do you love to do? What's your favorite type of service and why? Well, I actually work in a salon that was where you chose between doing strictly color and you, or you chose with being on the other side of the salon, which was strictly cuts. And I always worked on the side with color. I love, love, love color. It's just always fascinated me. And I just, it's such a creative, customized um, service that I just, I just really gravitate more towards color. I love doing cuts as well. Um, but I but just, color's your thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what's the best way to find that seasoned, really experienced stylist? Well, I think seasoned, seasoned, really experienced stylists are great, but also some of the young talent that's out is very, very, very knowledgeable in like new um, trends. And sometimes going to a person that's been doing hair for 30 years is great, but sometimes they've been doing their, their hair 30 years for 30 years and it's never and changed. it's never changed and that's why a lot of times people will change stylists because yeah. they don't try something new absolutely or that's suggest why, that's why consultation is great yes. because you can find out like hey are you do you like to go to continuing education classes do you you know what do you you know you can kind of get a feel like? for what they like what their style is that's awesome so how long have you been a hairstylist i have been a hairstylist for 15 years and prior to that i owned a salon i did everything backwards and then um but i started out doing nails so but okay. i've been in the industry for over 20. Wow, so, yeah. wow. So I know that you service Nocatee and a lot of, not just Nocatee, but we're on 210, County Road 210, yes. right off of the highway of 95. Yes. And I know that you live in Nocatee. I do. So. I've been in Nocatee four years. Oh, wow. What do you love about Nocatee? I love the sense of community there. I feel like um, a lot of people that move there have transplanted either from out of state or within state. Like we, we lived right over the intercoastal um, up off of Hodges prior. And so moving here, it was like you're starting over again. And so everyone's kind of in the same boat. And it's just a great sense of community. And I really like that a lot. That's awesome. And this salon, Salon Teak, is just like 10 minutes away from Nocatee. Yeah. So it's super easy to get yeah. to. So if somebody wants to reach you, Jeanette, and they want to make an appointment, what's the best way for them to reach you? The absolute best way and the easiest way for me to get back to you fastest is to contact me um, by my cell phone, and that's area code 904-463-7854. And we will post that on the site yeah. so that you won't miss it. And there you have it. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you. Uh, Jeanette, call her over here at Salon Teak. She just yeah. gave you the phone number. Parking's no problem, and come on over and meet Jeanette soon. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah.